Are you new to ChatGPT and struggling to get the responses you want? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write better prompts so that you can get the absolute most out of ChatGPT. We're going to be breaking down the art of writing prompts or what they call prompt engineering and tricks that will transform your ChatGPT experience. Think about this. What if you could hop on to ChatGPT at any time that you want and get perfect responses for whatever you need? See, the trick is knowing exactly what to ask it, and that's where our discussion today comes in. Writing effective prompts isn't just about asking a question. It's about guiding ChatGPT to provide the answer that you need. So if you're ready to become a ChatGPT master, keep watching. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited to implement ChatGPT into your business. Hey, it's John Mendez, aka Mr. Stop and Stare, just don't touch the hair. And it is my mission to help you harness the power of AI so you can 10x your real estate business. Now you may be wondering, why should real estate agents care about writing better prompts? Like how does that apply to you? ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can help you automate tasks, generate content, and even respond to clients. However, the effectiveness of ChatGPT heavily relies on the prompt that you put in. And a well-crafted prompt can help lead to more accurate and effective responses, saving you tons of time. And I want you to remember this, garbage in, garbage out. If you're putting in garbage into ChatGPT, you're going to get out garbage. So take some time to start implementing what I'm about to share with you guys. So here are the three key benefits that will come with improving your prompt skills. Number one, enhance accuracy. You can fine tune ChatGPT to exactly what you need it for, whether it's analyzing a bunch of text and writing in a style that's similar to yours, or whether it's writing in a style that's similar to an idol that you look up to. Think of ChatGPT like an apprentice, and you can train that apprentice to become a master at whatever you want it to be. Benefit number two, time efficiency. A well-crafted prompt can help you get the information that you needed in one go. That way you don't have to go back and forth constantly reiterating what ChatGPT put out. And this could also help you a ton when you're doing writing tasks. For example, when I use ChatGPT to write out email campaigns, if I just use a very simple prompt, all my emails sound exactly the same. But when I use a more specific prompt, a better prompt, the emails that ChatGPT generates tend to be a whole lot better and a lot less repetitive. Benefit number three, better content generation. If you're using ChatGPT to generate content or social media posts, improving your prompts can lead to more engaging and more relevant content, which will enhance your marketing efforts and then potentially lead to more clients. So here are three tips to improve your prompts. Number one, be specific. The more specific your prompt, the more likely you are to get what you want out of it. For example, instead of saying, write me a property description for a three bedroom, two bathroom colonial home, you could say, write me a compelling property description for a three bedroom, two bathroom colonial home listed on 123 Main Street. Here are some of the key amenities that this property has, and here are some of the key attractions nearby. It's walking distance to the train station, very great for commuters. Make sure to include all this key information in this property description. And finish with a call to action to help drive more people to my open house this Saturday. Now that's a specific prompt. Tip number two, provide context. A lot of people have this misconception where they think ChatGPT is a mind reader. But if you wanted to create, for example, a social media video on five tips for home buyers, well, there's a lot of context that ChatGPT is going to have to assume in order to make that video. And it may not be what you need. So next time, instead of just asking it to make a video, tell it who you're looking to make that video for. Is it first time home buyers? Is it luxury buyers? Buyers? Is it people who are buying investment properties? What is this type of buyer? What is their demographics? What are their psychographics? Right? Give us some feedbacks. Who's your target audience? How long do you want the video to be? What is your goal that you're looking forward to getting from this video? Put as much context into ChatGPT so it can specifically cater its responses to exactly what you need. And step number three, use the right tone. ChatGPT can adapt its tone based on the prompt that you put in. So if you're writing a more formal email, make sure your prompt reflects it. And on the other hand, if you're writing a more casual email, make sure your prompt reflects that as well. You could also do something where you put in right in this style. And you could put professional, funny, casual, laid back. However you would describe your style. Maybe it's 15th century old English. I don't know. Whatever your style is, you can actually tell ChatGPT to use that style whenever it's generating responses. So here's a quick question. What's one task that you would love to get off your plate with ChatGPT? Make sure to write that down in the comments below. And here's a bonus tip. Don't be afraid to experiment with prompts. Whenever you start a conversation on ChatGPT, you can actually title that conversation. So let's say you wanna make a prompt for writing videos. You can go in there and just experiment. Go play around, find whatever the best prompt is for you. And let's say you have another conversation where you help plan events with ChatGPT. Go in there and just experiment with the best prompts to try and generate an event plan and then you could title the conversation so every time you need to go back to it you don't have to start fresh 
you can just go right into your safe conversation and pick up where you left off. So that is all for this lesson. But if you want to take your prompt skills to the highest level possible in seconds, you're going to want to watch my next lesson where I cover how to use what I call the Godfather prompt. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.